so let's just talk about synthetic events in react so the synthetic events are basically cross browser wrapper around the browser's native event so react provides one wrapper which wraps around the browser native event to ensure that the event behaves consistently across different browsers and some of the key features are first of all this provides cross browser compatibility secondly we have the event pooling where react uses the same object from a pool which reduces the memory use and makes the event handling process much more efficient and here we have consistent api so this allows the developers to use the familiar event properties and methods like an example here we have one functional component app which returns one button so whenever we click on this button it will generate one event we can use the on click event handler so whenever we click on that button we're gonna call the method handle click so let's now define that handle click now this handle click will receive one event as parameter now this event is one synthetic event so let's now console log this so now if we click on this button it will console log the synthetic event that is generated so let's now click on this button so you can see we have this object so here you can see we have this synthetic base event and it contains a lot of methods and properties and also we can access the native event so we have to call event dot native event so now if we click on this button so you can see we have the native events which contains a lot of properties and methods so we have a lot of different synthetic events so we have mouse events like on click on mouse enter similarly also we have keyboard events like on key down on key press and also we have form events like on submit on change and also we have touch events on touch start on touch end and so on so we can say that synthetic event is a very powerful feature in react which helps developer manage cross browser compatibility so that's it for the video see you in the next one take care